Alright, welcome back to another Laguna Quick Start tutorial for the PL1220 laser machine. In this tutorial, we will use the same gear that we've been using in our other tutorials, and we're going to open up this image inside of Inkscape, which is an open source free vector uh, program for doing various um, vector graphics related tasks and you can um, find it, it online, um, download it and install it and you can get it for the Mac or the PC side of whatever you choose to work with. I'm on a uh, Mac right now and I'm going to work within VirtualBox and we're going to open up Inkscape and bring that image in. So I'll go ahead and launch Inkscape and there it is. It looks like pretty much every other um, program and in this case Inkscape is really easy to use and to do vectors like what we've been working with so what I'll do here is I'll just go to file and I'll go to import and I will open up that gear that we've been working with all along and I'll open that up I'll just leave this at defaults for the moment and there it is so you can grab it move it around set it up however you want in this case I think what I'll do here is I'll come to this lock right here and I'm gonna lock that down and then I'm just gonna use this little carrot and I'm gonna just press in for a little bit and shrink it down and kind of move it inside of there okay so pretty easy so the next step is just to click on on the image to activate it and what you want to do is come up to your path options and we're gonna just trace that bitmap so if I just leave these at default as it is, we'll just see what it does right off the bat. And there it is. It actually did it, it did the, the tracing. So you would sit here and hit OK, OK, OK. But really, after you just hit OK once, it already did the function. And I'm going to show you um, how to see that. It, you won't notice it. I'm going to just cancel out of that. You won't notice any of the bitmap tracing until you enable your edit paths by nodes over here. So if I click on there, now you can see where it, it did do something. It made a, a, a tracing. And if we just sort of zoom in on this here, let's just zoom up and take a look. There it is. Let me click back over here. And there are all the lines. So yeah, that couldn't have been easier. Now we can just export this. So if we go to file, and we come down here and we well actually we're gonna save this as okay so we're gonna to go to our save as options I'll go to the desktop give it a name and you want to switch this up to the DXF option right here so we're gonna output it as a DXF and it'll go to the desktop I'll just name it whatever I've already done this so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel and there it is so now let's um, let's hide or quit Let's quit Inkscape, and mine is, is down here. So what we'll do is we'll open that in RDWorks, and this is left over from the last RDWorks project we did, so I'll just delete that. And what I'll do is just come in here and go to File, and let's do an import, and we're gonna look on top of the desktop, and where's our desktop? There it is and here is our gear vectors Inkscape DXF so I'll go ahead and open that and you'll notice that it opens a little bit larger than it did um, in uh, as output from the other programs but I'll go ahead and enlarge this um, let's take this up to maybe 10 inches so we'll go to 10 there and there it is and now let's see what Inkscape did for us we'll just go into the preview mode here and do a quick simulation there are our vectors and simulation and there you have it looks like it's um it's cutting pretty good it is going slow it's set at um uh, at about five millimeters per second on its cutting speed and the power is at 30 percent um really in this simulation window the only thing you'll you'll notice is the speed here so that's why it's going a little slower than usual but it looks as if all of those vectors are fine and it looks like it's going to cut really well and there you have it so it'll go around the outer portion i'm fairly confident that um, it's going to print so or cut 
So there you have it. I'll go ahead and hit escape to get out of there. So that's what Inkscape does and Inkscape is totally free and you can find a whole bunch of tutorials and support for it online. Um, and you can use that to um, Inkscape to create vectors for the PL1220 as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching.